Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are in this amazing world. My name is Donovan Jolly, and welcome everybody once again for another amazing video of DIY investing. I wanted to make a special update for all of my link marines that are out there. Anybody that's holding chain link has been in a lot of profit, unless obviously you bought the top. But with that being said, I expect a lot more upside potential to still be coming inside of Chainlink, which is going to create a huge demand where we as investors can make a significant amount of money. I am expecting that Chainlink is going to break new all-time highs, and the bottom was already made over the last couple days. Many people are bearish, many top traders are expecting more downside, but I'm here to tell you that all of these people will be wrong, and us investors are about to make a lot of money just for ignoring all of the FUD. If you're new and just finding this channel, always remember to do me a favor by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing to this channel for more updates. Make sure that you guys click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos like the one provided for you here. And always remember, guys, I have the fastest growing and truly the very best Discord community out there for cryptocurrency. Currently, we have over 16,000 members, and it's growing so fast. I would absolutely love it if you guys would join. It's free for anybody that wants to. All you guys got to do to join is to click inside of the description of this video, and there you're going to find the invitation link to my Discord server. Now on the Discord server, I also offer my more exclusive content like the video course and signals. Remember guys, my signal price is a 50% discount right now at $1,000, and in the next couple days, I'm actually going to be doubling the prices to $2,000. So make sure that you guys get in that early adopter sale. The ebook's finished completely, so you guys are going to be able to actually get that for free. And with that being said, I'm also going to be releasing the website. I just got a little finishing touch, and then it's going to be ready for you guys to go. So make sure you guys get in on that awesome deal. If this is interesting to you guys, make sure that you stay all the way to the end of this video because I'm going to be taking a couple minutes to explain how you guys can get signed up, the pros of doing so, and what it's going to take to get you guys going today. Alrighty guys, we got a lot of really exciting stuff with Chainlink. I haven't been this excited for Chainlink in a while, so without further ado, let's jump right into it today. Alrighty guys, so here we are taking a look at the great almighty oracle of all oracles. This is Chainlink. Chainlink has been one of my bigger investments and due to this pump, I've actually made a lot of money and it's became one of my big investments just due to profit alone. You know, this coin has really gone up. It's been outpacing the majority of the market and a lot of people are actually bearish on it and it's kind of silly. A lot of people are trying to already call the top. They're looking at this and they're saying, well, it's already so parabolic. There's no way that we can keep going up. But I'm here to tell you guys that that is just so far from the truth and these people that are trying to tell you that are suffering from bear market PTSD. This is a very common occurrence that's going to happen when you invest into a market you know what we've seen for such a long time was just crashing markets specifically in the altcoins this was the worst bear market in altcoin history considering that it was really one of the first big bear markets that we ever had for the altcoins obviously you had some of the old coins like litecoin like xrp that actually went through that last bear cycle but this one is on such a greater scale because there's so many more altcoins and cryptocurrencies in general now because of this many top traders you know like i stated many times before traders themselves Here's the difference between a trader and an investor. And here's why I personally believe that us investors are going to make way more money in the long run in a lot less of a risky manner. It's going to be easier. It's going to be way more fun. And we don't actually have to risk a whole lot to do it. Now, what I always tell people is a trader. So let's take a trader. Pretend I'm Trader Donovan right now. So trader... Um, Whenever I'm looking at a chart, I'm always so zoomed in predominantly, most of the time. A lot of these traders are stuck with their nose against the wall. And so, you know, if there's this beautiful picture here that's painted on the wall, but you as a trader just have your nose stuck on that wall, you're only going to be seeing this much. You know, you got this much space to actually see what the hell's going on. And this is where traders are going to mess up because us macro investors that are looking at the big picture, you know, it's basically like us taking 30 steps back. And now we can actually see the great picture. We're like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Beautiful. You know, what an amazing piece of artwork this chart actually is. And that's the difference between a trader and an investor. Oftentimes, new guys getting into the markets are really confused by what analysis to follow. And they don't understand time frames. They don't really get how all of these charts work. And so, with, so what they'll do is they'll actually follow these traders um, thinking that this is how they invest long term. And it just their time frames are all mixed up. And so, you know, noobs, they'll get into these markets, they'll see all these little short term trades. And so they're in and out and they'll end up just losing all of their money because they really don't know what they're doing. They're just following these people that are just on these short time frames. Whereas me, you know, we're looking at the greater picture. We're looking at the whole piece of the artwork here. And when we do this, it makes it a lot easier to see because obviously, you know, 
if we're only looking at the short time frames, we're only going to see this much of a move. And it's not like we have any idea of all of this previous history. You know, how would we even understand where we came from as a civilization if we didn't first analyze the past? And this is the thing, you know, I look at this a lot and it applies to just basic life in general. You know, a lot of people are stuck analyzing the things that have happened within the last 50 to 100 years that oftentimes we just completely ignore all of history. And we're starting to see this in society today. You know, we're seeing a lot of push towards socialism. We're we're seeing these push towards, you know, Antifa and all of these things. And these are people petitioning for a total uh, communistic government in a way that we're putting more power back into these people that have proven to never be trustable. I mean, if you look at governments throughout all of history, has there ever been a government that we could thoroughly trust that hasn't, you know, stabbed us in the back and just stole from us? No, like every time this cycle repeats, you know, we'll go to a great state of abundance where we have capitalism. And from there, you know, it starts to get tainted where we're basically at right now. I wouldn't even consider the world today as genuine capitalism because it's not. It's kind of like socialism capitalism. And this is where we lose our ways. We forget to look at the greater picture. And because of this, we're so stuck on these short time frames that we're missing the great story being told. And, you know, that's just a metaphor of life. Um, but you can also apply it to charts. And this is one of the reasons why I just love analysis so much is because I've learned so much about my own personal life just looking at charts. And, you know, some of you guys that don't understand it to this extent that I do, you're going to sit there and be like, well, what the heck? How does this even apply? How is this even applicable to life in general? And I'm here to tell you guys, by me analyzing charts, I've been, I've managed to learn a deeper understanding and gain a connection with my own human emotions. I was able to analyze when I started feeling fearful. I was able to get away from the attachment of money and all of these material things. And when you start to do this, you start to open up a greater perspective on life. And, you know, with the macro trend, this is the way that we perceive all of cryptocurrency. And it makes much more logical sense for me to just look at the big picture, see everything that's happened. And then because all of that is going to categorize what's happening in the short term as well. If you're stuck on the short term, not saying that it's unprofitable, but for new guys that are generally watching my channel, it's because you guys don't know how to do a lot of this trading stuff. I mean, that's fine. In fact, I would argue that it's better for you guys to just skip learning trading at all. I really just don't think that there's a need for it when you can just make so much money holding the long-term trend. Now, I feel like I've gone off enough. I feel like I've given you guys enough metaphors about this as to why the long-term is so much better. So now let's actually dive into some chain link analysis so that I can share with you guys some important updates here because I am just just so bullish on Chainlink right now and it looks super, super good to me. I know a lot of people are bearish, but I look at this and just see, oh my goodness, what a great buying opportunity. You know, I posted signals inside of my Discord. We managed to actually buy and accumulate this sell-off. And so we're filled in on Chainlink again. I told you guys I wasn't adding more to my long-term bags. And honestly, guys, the fact that we sold back within this $10 range, it gave us a good opportunity to do so. And so I actually didn't buy any Chainlink. I did buy some Ethereum. I did buy some Tezos because in my opinion, it was just a little bit of a safer bet. With my Ethereum, I have more utility. I can use it for Uniswap coins and low caps. Um, with Tezos, I'm actually earning interest off of staking. And so, you know, it makes a little bit more sense for me to buy those two instead. Chainlink, I already bought so much back down here. I didn't need to really add to my dip, but I'm just telling you guys right now that we did post some signals. We did get filled on some of those. And so I am expecting a lot more upside. Now, if we actually dive into this, let's go to the shorter time frames because I absolutely love this setup that we're seeing. And we have a very real chance of being in this breakout stage. Now, one thing I want to uh, point out right off the bat is this type of corrective pattern. And this is a pattern that I've been able to trade with very, very high success. And we're also going to apply it on a couple other charts so I can share with you guys exactly what this is going to turn into. Because in my opinion, this is a very obvious um, ABC correction. And this is based off of Elliott Wave Theory. Basically, you have three impulse waves, one, two, three, four, five. And then you have a corrective ABC move back down, which is this. This is the high. This is the A. This is the B, and then we go for the C. Now, the way that you categorize a C um, or a completed ABC correction is every C leg has five Elliott Wave impulses. So this is our A, this is our B. Now, after our B is where we go to our C. In the C wave, we want to have five impulses, which we see right here. One, three, and five. So we got a perfect Elliott Wave down sequence right here in this corrective move. And now we're already getting that first little impulse up. In my opinion, this is just wave one in a new bullish trend before we actually break up. My guess is we'd probably break up to about, you know, 15.3, pull back to retest the $13, $14 range. 
and then we get another rally up you know that would take us back closer to those cycle highs that we saw at about you know 20 bucks so this is kind of what i'm personally going to be watching for obviously there can be some variance i could very easily be wrong on this and that's just something to understand but what i what is important to point out here is the fact that in a corrective move we've already completed that impulse down so this is a completed abc correction now obviously we can look for the descending resistance which is fine but i'm not really too worried about that at all now if we actually pull up the rsi you guys are going to see a really amazing pattern here where we get a confirmed bullish divergence. This is such a basic principle that I think you guys should pay attention for. I know I often don't talk about indicators at all, but literally the one indicator I use is the RSI. And a lot of these top traders with all their fancy indicators, they'll be like, oh, all of these idiots that only use the RSI and the MACD, you guys don't know what you're talking about. But in actuality, guys, the more simple the chart, the more effective your trading plan is going to be. You know, and that's just the silly thing that a lot of people have these dumb belief systems about is the fact that for me, I'm way more profitable if I just have a bare chart. I don't have any, uh, I, I don't have any, uh, indicators on it at all besides maybe the IR RSI. That's it. I, ne I never really do anything else. It's just price action and it's so much more consistent. You guys, if you go and back test bullish divergences, you're going to see just how accurate they are, especially in Bitcoin. If you ever look at a daily time frame and you ever find a bullish divergence that forms, the probability of that actually playing out is so high that it's a pattern that I think everybody should pay attention for and keep in their tool bag for profiting. And we actually got this here. The fact that we got this after five impulse waves down in the sea leg. It's a dead giveaway, guys. This is such a bullish looking setup, in my opinion, which is why I wanted to make this update for you. You know, we see the perfect five impulse waves between the three, four, and five. We get the bullish divergence with forms. And now we are starting not only this, but we're also making an inverse head and shoulder. There's the left shoulder, there's the head, and here's the right shoulder with the potential of a breakout nearing, which, in my opinion, we need to get above you know, $12, about 13 bucks. We need to make it above $13 for this to be confirmed. Now, if we hit up here and then we reject, it's going to look a little bit sketchy, but as long as we hold support, you know, we could make one more um, dig into this right shoulder and we could still get the breakout. So understand that, understand that even if we reject right here, it's not going to be completely bearish. Where I would start labeling that this is bearish is if we actually sold through this level here at about $11.40. If we start selling back below that, I'm going to expect one more downside low. But to be quite honest, guys, I just don't see it. You know, with that type of bullish divergence that's formed, I just personally don't think that that's going to be the case that plays out. I think it's much more likely that this is actually where we're going to break out. And I would like to see that because based off of this, we can see a perfect one, three, and five Elliott Wave impulse. And then we got a short term a, B, C right here, right? And so we can see that this ABC is just an exact mirror of this little ABC. It's just happening on a much bigger scale. And this is the way LA wave theory works. The fact that this is just a one wave based off of this current consolidation makes me feel like this was one. We're gonna get wave three. And then we're going to get wave five that's going to take us pretty quickly back up to the cycle highs. And so if you're not ready beforehand, if you were kind of waiting on the fence to buy chain link to add to your long terms, I think now's the go-to, in my opinion. Really, you would have wanted to catch this initial sell-off, but obviously there's a little bit more risk involved with that because there's just more fear involved. But with that being said, guys, this is why it pays to get a hold of your emotions because when we're in control of our emotions, there is no fear. We see this correction, and if anything, we feel euphoric. We're like, oh my gosh, yes, cheaper crypto. I can buy this. Thank you, God, for opening the great clouds of abundance to rain upon me in this glorious manner because truly this is an opportunity, and we got to rewire our mindsets when it comes to actually investing, guys. When the sell-off happens, you don't want to be looking at how much you're losing in unrealized gains. You want to be looking at how cheap the cryptos are so you can buy back into that dip, and if you don't have cash doesn't matter. You hold through the dips and you hold long term. These dips will become nothing in the grand scheme of things because pretty soon you guys are going to be really accustomed to seeing this type of stuff. This is the type of movement that happens time and time again. And if we're not prepared for it, we're just going to get stuck panic selling when we don't need to. You know, we just need to sell into the rallies if you're going to. Otherwise, just don't even worry about it. In my opinion, I haven't sold anything. I'm still holding my margin longs in Chainlink from $3.70 down in here. 
I literally have no inclination of selling my chain link, I'm holding these suckers for a long time because this for me is the way I can hedge my Bitcoin into cross margin positions. And you know, I don't need to sell anything. I'll just pay the interest of whatever that's going to be. It's never that much for me to even worry about it. And so this is just a way that I can hedge my Bitcoin. I can still take margin longs and chain link. I still hold spot as well. So it's not like I'm only holding margin longs and the amount of money that I'm actually holding in margin longs is a lot less than my spot orders. And so I just wanted to talk to you guys about this little update because everything that we're seeing here is a perfect corrective move and if I actually share with you guys what an ABC looks like this is the way it works both bullish and bearish we get three impulse waves one three five and then after the top of that we get the ABC ABC right it's so basic it's one of the most basic chart uh, patterns you're gonna find with Elliott wave theory and when we analyze this look it's just perfect ABC and so I don't see the big reason to be fearful with the bullish divergence that we've gotten on this short-term correction. Now with the inverse head and shoulder, there's so many correlations here that are showing seller exhaustion that I'm expecting a quick buyback that's going to take off. Now, a lot of you guys might be wondering, what is this going to look like? Is it literally just going to shoot straight up like this? And I'm here to show you an exact example of what we saw with Bitcoin. Because yes, I do believe that that's going to be the case. So this was the accumulation. We go parabolic, and now this is really our first corrective move after going parabolic. We needed this, guys. It's a healthy corrective cycle inside of a bigger picture uptrend. This is going to be the case time and time again. And in fact, if you are feeling scared right now, yeah, you guys are going to be in for a real struggle the entire way up because this is going to happen all the time. You know, this is like a 40% correction approximately. Let's see. Yeah, 50% correction. So I feel you guys, I feel the fear. I understand how this goes, especially if you haven't been through the cycles, but I'm here to tell you, I look at this and I just get so excited because this is a opportunity. It's not fairy, it's not scary in the slightest. It's merely, you know, God opening the clouds of abundance and raining down cheap cryptos upon us. And this is what you guys gotta look at it. You gotta make a little joke out of it. When the selling happens, there's blood in the streets. You don't wanna be the blood, you wanna be the guy buying it. And you know, Warren Buffett's such a prime example of all of this. In fact, last night I had a dream of Warren Buffett. He was in my dream. So basically, we're, he's in his and he's in his house doing laundry or whatever. I'm just kind of following around his house, asking him a question. I'm like, "Hey Warren, you know how long do you work every single day? Hey Warren, you know what is this and this and this? Hey Warren, how should I better invest?" And w Warren Buffett just looks at me and he says, "You know what, Donovan? I like you. I like you because you call me Warren, not Warren." Weirdest dream ever. I don't even get it. But anyways, yeah, you know, the fact that War I had a dream with Warren Buffett last night just proves that Chainlink's going to bounce so high. You know, we all know how much Warren Buffett just absolutely adores cryptocurrencies, especially Chainlink. So, you know, Warren Buffett's actually going to be pumping our bags here. He told me in his dream. So just remember that when it comes to actually uh, watching this chart. Now, I'm going to share with you guys an exact reflection of what this looks like and what I'm actually expecting to happen. If we come over here and take a look at Bitcoin, Let's actually drop it to a little bit of a shorter time frame here. We're going to see that we got the exact same type of move. So basically, Bitcoin had this big rounded bowl shaped, and then we broke all time highs right here. And this move was our first parabolic impulse, right? Look at the same type of consolidation we made A, B, C. And then what happened? Oh, well, this is where the real parabolic move started. And it's really funny, guys, because you can actually see multiple ABC corrections. There's one right here A, B, C. There's one right here. A, B, C. It's kind of hard to tell because it's on a five-day time frame and it gets more parabolic, but literally, just go back and look. Here's another example. A, B, C. And look what happens every single time. A, B, C. All of these are just A, B, C. Every one of these was an A, B, C correction. And so anybody that's trying to shill you some bull crap saying that Chainlink's dead has obviously no idea what they're talking about. And the funny thing is, guys, this is coming from somebody that isn't even a day trader. And I can see this happening right now. It's so blatantly obvious for me to tell. And that's why I just wanted to make this little update for you guys is because I know a lot of people are scared. I know a lot of people are feeling some losses. I mean, I'm feeling losses too. You know, I've got a big portfolio. And so when I hit these dips and Chainlink sells off 50%, there goes 50% of my net worth, right? It, well, not really, but it depends. Some of these, you know, in these corrections, corrections, you're literally going to lose 40 to 50% of your portfolio balance in just a matter of a couple weeks. And this is going to be a characteristic that you have to understand is going to happen. It's going to be frequent and you have to be willing to hold through that. And if anything, you got to be willing to buy that blood. And for me, guys, I haven't, I don't give a crap what my dollar value is. I literally could care less. You know, yeah. Is my portfolio going down from this dip? Hell yeah. Whose isn't? And that's the biggest part of this. As a macro trend investor, this is going to be something that happens time and time again. And if you weren't prepared beforehand, you're going to be the, the idiot stuck 
selling all of this stuff. You don't want to be that guy. I promise you. It makes it way worse knowing that you had all of this profit only to sell and realize a small gain only for that thing to bounce all the way back up and go well above and beyond where it was at previously because this is going to happen over and over and over and over again. You don't want to be missing out on this, guys. I'm telling you firsthand from somebody that's made the mistakes. You know, I bought Ethereum at $6, and I sold it at $8 because I was trying to be a day trader. I thought that that was going to be the way to do things, and guess what? Where did Ethereum go? Well, it went to $1,450 directly after that. You know, it's this type of mistake that will eat you up. Um, for me, you know, I've moved on past all of that. I've been here for long enough. I don't care. I've moved on to the attachment of money. Yeah, it would have been nice to just hold that Ethereum long term, but that's exactly why it's nice to hold this chain link long term is because it's doing the same thing, right? You know, we can see exact images of this corrective move. You know, we're about to go really, really parabolic, and that's the thing that most people are going to miss out on. You know, on top of that, we can also take a look at the Bitcoin pair before we wrap things up. In my opinion, guys, this just looks the exact same. It's the exact same chart. You know, we've been buying all of these trend lines. I started buying down here at this green, this green, and then these two greens up here. So about these last four little green uh, boxes where I started accumulating my chain link. And now that it's going parabolic, I have no inclination of actually accumulating more, but I do think that this is still a very good setup. Now, the same thing as the dollar pair. This is just an ABC. Same thing. Not only that, I would have been a little bit more bearish, but we actually maintain support above the blast high. That's just a perfect corrective move to retest the previous breakout point and this is going to be the category that we this is going to be something that we see time and time again you guys are going to be able to analyze this chart pattern and I, I guys go back test this i'm dead serious go back and follow this exact same pattern this little abc correction learn some basic elliott wave theory you know i'm not a freaking master at it by any means i literally am not in the slightest but i know how to manage I know how to map out a 135 impulse, and I know what an ABC correction looks like. And that's all I need for my trading plan to see when the time to buy is, when the time to sell is. And so for that, you know, this thing is going to do the same thing. You know, maybe we get a short-term correction, and then we're going to keep going up. It's going to look the exact same as all of these other ones. This is the way it works. This entire move here was the accumulation. This was us building that long-term base. This is us heading into price discovery. In my opinion... You know, this thing is going to go up way, way higher. We're going to see a monumental increase in value, and there's no reason to be selling this by any means. Chainlink is going to be an outlier of this cycle. It already has been an outlier in this cycle. And this is something that I only expect to continue to grow the more hype that is developed in Chainlink. Now, I heard a lot of some of my insiders say that, you know, Chainlink is just, it, it's, it's minuscule as far as what is really going on behind the scenes. Not so much inside of Chainlink, but a lot of these people say that Chainlink is predominantly hype. And that's fine. You know, if, if this offends some of you Link Marines, that's totally fine. This is just an opinion that somebody else told me. Um, but that's the thing, guys. I invest through hype. I don't give a crap about the fundamentals because I can see a chart pattern that is showing a lot of demand. And when I see that chart pattern reflecting that, you know, I can buy it and I can hold in through all of that hype. And that's the thing that everybody should do. It's not so much the fundamentals. When the cryptocurrency bull run starts, it's who has the best marketing teams, who can show the most audience, who can get the most attraction for their product, because that's what's going to pump the hardest. You know, should, I, should you invest through fundamentals? Of course. Fundamentals are so important. And obviously, you don't want to just buy any random coin that has some developers that have been proven to be scammers because, you know, you're betting on a track record that's bound to fail. Whereas Chainlink, you know, it's a legitimate project. It's got legitimate partnerships. That's the thing to look out for. Obviously, partnerships are going to be a key player in hype, but oftentimes that's not always the biggest category to pay attention for. Fundamentals are one aspect. The chart itself is another aspect. All of this can encompasses a greater whole that we can use in our trading plan. And so, you know, guys, everything we see right here is just looking so phenomenally good. I look at this. I get so excited because this is just a mere correction before we break up much higher. The fact is, guys, Chainlink has led every impulse. It's led every sell-off. And this is going to be the way it goes. It's going to basically reflect the market sentiment, but it's going to reflect it in a much more impulsive way, whether that's on the downside, whether that's on the upside. And as a Chainlink holder and investor, you got to be prepared for this to happen because Ethereum did the same crap. You know, there was a lot of these pullbacks. And in fact, you could even argue that there's been more pullbacks in this cycle. So it's even more trying as far as being able to hold that trend, not getting shaken out and being able to actually just reinvest and buy more. This is the stuff that's important, guys. You don't want to miss out on these types of opportunities because they just don't come too often. And so, yeah, guys, this is the video I had for you with Chainlink. I wanted to go through. This is quite the video. You know, we go into some metaphors on life. 
we have, you know, God showering us in abundance. And then we also just took a look at the basic understanding of what's going on. And we can see that, you know, Bitcoin has made this exact consolidation pattern time and time again. And this is actually the exact way that we've consolidated the entire last bull cycle. You know, Chainlink's going to do the same thing. It's going to go really crazy. In my opinion, we're going to see the next big impulse heading upwards of 50 bucks inside of Chainlink. This is their first little leg up in this parabolic cycle. This is the first time we've actually gone parabolic. This thing is really going to start flying. And this is where we can actually start distancing ourselves from these highs. You know, right here, we sold back down to get pretty close to retesting that previous high right here. You know, we were within a few dollars. To get to that point, right now could be the next impulse where we don't really actually sell off that low. And we just keep going and get even further and further and further from moving averages, get further distance as we go more parabolic in the cycle. And that's the thing we got to be prepared for, guys. You don't want to be the idiot that was panic selling the bottom. If you panic sold, you better jump in because you're going to get left behind. And I promise it's going to hurt. And it's going to sting. And you're going to cry to your mom. And you're going to say, Mom, I missed out on Chainlink. Wee. You don't want to do that. I'm here to tell you firsthand that that sucks. It sucks way worse than having to bag hold to a loss for a little while. Just don't do it, guys. Anyways, for the people that have waited this long that want to hear about my video course and signals, the video course is going to be 20 educational videos. Time and time again, I've said it. If you want to learn how to trade these markets, you're going to pay for somebody that knows what they're doing, and or you're going to watch a bunch of YouTube videos that are worthless like I did and lose a bunch of money like I did when I got into this stuff. This 20 educational series is going to teach you guys all of my strategies for profiting. If this is something you guys want to do full time, I recommend learning from that course. It's going to teach you guys all of my strategies that I feel are most important. I've paid thousands of dollars worth of mentorship. I've had exact coaches to teach me all of this stuff. And that's the funny thing about all of this, guys, is the fact that I'm going to teach all of that stuff for you. I'm going to teach all of that stuff for you in that course. Now, for the people that want the signals, the signals is the go-to. If you guys want to copy all of the trades that I post, they're all going to be blow they're all going to be located inside of my Discord server in the signals. Now, on top of that, I'm also going to be doubling the prices of my signals within the next couple days because of the fact my website's almost completely done. I'm going to be giving out my uh, my I'm going to be giving out my ebook for free. So anybody that wants that, it's 38 pages. There's a little quiz in it. It's got a ton of really cool information. And so you guys are going to be able to get access to that. But make sure you guys sign up for those signals. If you want to actually follow along, see all of these trades, you would have got filled in all of my buy orders down here in Chainlink, all of the other calls that I made. It pays to get in with this stuff because at the very least, you guys get in the signals, you make enough money to at least go back and buy the course if that's something you want to pursue. So I always recommend going for that. You know, like I said, it's going from $1,000 to $2,000. Get in on that 50% discount before I raise prices. And yeah, guys, with all that being said, thank you all so much for the support. I love each and every one of you. Truly remarkable opportunities throughout the board. Just remember to focus in on the opportunity at hand and don't get shaken out by the FUD. Thank you so much for tuning in. And with all that being said, I'll catch you in the next video. As always, peace out.